Oh, this could be bad for the queen and- Oh, I didn't think it is! Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. Because today, we're not on any Isla Nublar or any, any Jurassic Island, per se. No, this is Wayland Corp. If you know Wayland Corp from the Alien movies, well, that's what we're here doing here today. Experiments on the xenomorph alien. So if we just take a look at our new amazing high-tech facility that so is in the battle arena, just with a few different assets. Mm. <laughs> we managed to capture and isolate a, uh, a a sort of little family, if you could call it, of, uh, of xenomorphs. Uh, these ones being the, I think, what, what is classes? The warrior class, or drones. Basically, um, without a queen, any synapse a link between the queen, they really are quite, you know, docile. Aww. In a way. As long as you don't come up to them. But, I mean, look! See? We have trucks running through. If you, if you actually walked up to one, it would probably kill you, yes. Without that sort of link, they are not the deadly creatures that we've seen in other experiments, no. But look at it! It is gorgeous! I love this! The, the model itself, I mean, yes, it's working on the, the raptor animations and stuff like that, but oh, it looks so good! Oh man, look at that! Oh, it's awesome! He's got a little bulbous head as well at the front. These beautiful, marvelous creations were created and uploaded by Hero Prime. Um, there was a couple of other aliens that we will also see in this video. Um, most of them, again, have made, been made by Hero Prime, but one in particular is made by somebody else, and I was actually quite surprised. I was like, wait, what? They didn't make this one? Back to the video! <laughs> so we have this, you know, subordinate, docile kind of, uh, you know, with a few infights to do with their, their own family. But they, they kind of sit around their lounge, and studying them has been lovely, lovely, peaceful. But it's all about to change! Because we have managed to locate the queen. And here she is! Oh, yes. Look at her. Isn't she just gorgeous? The markings are a little bit different in comparison to what uh, the other aliens are, but we are almost 100% sure this is the queen that shares a genetic DNA match with the ones inside. So, why don't we just, uh, you know, speed things along and, and just see if there's any happy reunion between the two of them. And here she comes, the moment of truth, reunited with her babas. Will it be a lovely heartwarming reunion? Oh, hey, oh, oh, you, oh, wait, it's running. She's running, where's she running to? Ooh, are we talking? Are we having some communication? Oh, little hellos. Look at the model on this. This is amazing. So apparently, um, they didn't actually make this model. They just imported it. Oh, wait, what? There's a fight? Okay, never mind. Um, apparently, they are not getting on. Um, or at least that one wasn't. Oh, it's oh, there's two. There's two. Oh, and she throws it miles. The other one jumps. Oh, just spins around. It seems like only two of them have decided to attack her. The other ones are kind of okay. This could be a dominance display. Maybe uh, also reach. Oh, God. Uh, where did that one even go? Oh, okay. You know, maybe just killing some of the subordinates. Oh, that one's apparently still not happy. Oh, is the, are they rejecting their old queen? Have they made new friendly alliances and uh, maybe they've appointed their own uh, matriarch? I don't even know. But look at that for a shot. Oh, that looks so good. This is awesome. The level of detail in this model is absolutely amazing. Um, oh, is she, is she going to attack the vehicles? She wants out. She wants to get out the gate. <laughs> so how, how many have we lost? Did we... We lost two! Two of them died! Jesus, and this one's almost dead. Okay, maybe they actually don't get on. Yeah, they, they really don't seem to like her. Uh, <laughs> it's just been relegated to the trees. Although saying that, I think... Oh, oh yeah, she, she's coming back. Um, oh, why, why? Why? Oh, oh, there's a battle! Or it seems to be. I think there's like three or four of them. That, oh, five! Oh! Oh, this could be bad for the queen and- Oh, I didn't think it is! Oh, they are attacking from all angles! Yep, this is- this is a rise against the- the patriarchy! The- the monarchy with the queen! 
Oh, oh, it looks so cool. Like, what in the game can you say you can do this? And there it goes. Oh, God, where did, there it is. And how she, oh, she's not faring too well. Running away while the other ones are still latch on. And, oh, just stopping. And that, this could be a downfall here. Uh, it would be really cool if you could give them, like, green blood. And down she goes. The other xenomorphs are making quick work of her. I think once those other two were killed, that was it. They just decided that, nah, they were not happy with that. And there you go. Um, well, apparently, these guys, uh, they don't want any leader. Um, they don't want any authoritarian dictatorship, apparently, or monarchy to uh, govern them. They're happy just choosing their own, uh, <laughs> their own ways, which is interesting because we have another alien type. And I'm wondering if they might get on with it. So shall we take a look? I'm excited. Okay, let's release a different kind of alien and see how well this does. Oh, <laughs> look at this one. Wow, I did not expect it to look like this. <laughs> this is a very interesting one. Oh, Ooh, lovely. I wonder how uh, how they'll uh, deal with this guy. Look at the long, lanky limbs. Right, I am very interested to see how these aliens or these xenomorphs react to this thing. Uh, this is not their queen. It is from a different planet, as you can quite clearly see, and different DNA. So their reaction's gonna be quite interesting. I'm wondering if they will actually get on with it. Um, oh, oh, it looks like, oh. Maybe this one's the matri- the, the head? Or maybe they don't have a head. Maybe they're just- Oh, they are- they are kind of going up to it? Oh, okay. They- they seem to be alright with it. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, that's not good. That is not good at all. No, okay, yeah. I don't know. Oh, God, no! It was just born! <laughs> Our own experiments! Oh, God. Up, oh, down it goes. Yep, yep. This is not... Oh, oh, wait. It's on the floor. And it's... Oh, God. It's head. It doesn't even have eyes. Oh, God knows how this thing functions. Um, but, yep. They are making short work of it. I don't even see any damage on the other xenomorphs. <laughs> okay. So, uh, they rejected their queen. They don't like other kinds of species. I wonder if we can sort of create our own alien. Let's give it a shot. Here it is. Our own concoction, as you, as you might call it, of different DNA to do with alien. And look at her. Whoa. Bigger than a queen, more intimidating, and with its kind of massive, humongous stature. Perhaps this one will be enough to intimidate the other xenomorphs into not attacking it and actually calling it its king. If it so wished, I think it could easily swat all of these, like literally all of these uh, xenomorphs because it is just absolutely ginormous. Look at it. It is just gorgeous. It's brutal. And it is absolutely ginormous. Um, oh, oh, are we okay? Oh, are we, oh, oh, oh God. Are we, we've got them running around, but they didn't attack it. Oh, oh, this is interesting. They kind of like started an attacking behavior and then, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that, that they're attacking each other. This is interesting. Ooh. Okay, this one's kind of running uh, as if it wants to attack, which is very strange. Maybe they're scared. Maybe they're intimidated by our amazing creation. Aww. I guess we just have to watch. We have to wait and... Oh, there you go. Look, a little sniff of the tail. Sort of investigating it. I mean, look at the size difference between the two. Um, I know if I was that little drone slash soldier warrior thing. Uh, I wouldn't really want to take this guy on. Uh, however, I, I'm, I'm a bit worried that this running animation that they display is very often like, okay, they're just going to attack, but they don't seem to be doing it just yet. They are running around. Uh, oh, yeah, this is very weird. Really, really weird. Oh, there you go. Just running... This one really seems to have taken a, a liking to it. Could this be the first of the rest of them falling in line with it? Oh, oh, eating together. Ooh, hold the phone. Could this be it? Could this be what we have been waiting for? Oh my God. Oh, that was a huge chunk. 
Yes! We've done it, I think. I think the, the rest of these xenomorphs are not attacking it. That is perfect. Because normally, by this time, they had already attacked. It was it was almost like instantaneous that as soon as it was dropped in within a couple of seconds, they attacked it. However, this guy, it does seem to have worked. They are not attacking it in the slightest. This is amazing. Oh, the scientific breakthroughs that we have just created. You know, what does it look like if we put, I don't know, a Spinosaur into the exhibit? Will the new quote-unquote King Xenomorph do the heavy lifting and protect her sort of new uh, family and her new pack? Or will the pack itself just do the dirty work for it and maybe it won't even have to do anything? And here it comes, the Spinosaurus! And will it? Or or should I say, how will it fare against the Xenomorphs? Let's have a look. Now, normally, almost instantaneously. Yep, there we go. Already. Oh, oh, already. The other one's like, yeah, the, the king, the crusher is already intimidating it. And all the other raptors instantly ran away. Oh, wow. We got, we got a fight right away. Oh, oh, no. Oh, this isn't so good for her. Oh, or him. Oh, I don't even... Does it have a gender? Does anyone have gender? It, it, oh, God. Oh! Oh, God! You got taken down! Oh, wow! Okay! Ha! Huh. That was kind of not what I was expecting to happen. And just as I thought, even though the Spinosaur killed the Crusher, you know, the, their biggest member, um, the Xenomorphs are... Oh, yeah, they're not happy with it. <laughs> oh, God! Boink! And now they are absolutely... Um, trashing this Spinosaur. Oh god, oh god, how many could jump on at once? Oh, I think it might be dead. Oh, did it get one? No, it's rolling over again. Whee! Just skidding around. But these Xenomorphs are made of hard stuff when there's so many of them. Oh, I think the Spino's gonna go. Oh, rolled over again. Just trying to get them off. Where have you, would you have ever thought you would have seen a sight of uh, Spinosaur? Uh, take it on Xenomorphs, and then it just sort of did a weird dance and collapsed there. Ah, what a world we live in, it's beautiful! And here it is, the new and improved Crusher. I think it might look a little bit different. We've had to tweak around with the DNA a little bit. We can get, you know, better attack, of course it's gonna need that. We can get even better defense. So, you know, a thicker uh, exoskeleton. Uh, although, actually, it kind of looks the same. Yeah, I can't really see much difference, if I'm gonna be honest. If it's a bit darker, possibly? Hard to tell. Right, let's get her involved. Just as I thought, it's became the apex as well. As soon as it goes in. Oh, the dinner is beautiful. We must know how good it is against the strongest carnivore that has ever lived. The Giga. Which will soon, I'm sure, be getting a, a reskin with the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. It's there. There you go. And the Giga has just been dropped in. And uh, I, I don't, wait, is it terrified or is it chasing that one that's running away? I'm not too sure. But it's also going to be looking because we do have another Giga on the horizon somewhere. Aha, there it is. That's what it's looking up to. Two Gigas, not one, but two, which will be working together. Now, you know, a teamwork like this is what's going to possibly uh, exterminate the Xenomorph uh, sort of family that we got going on here. Oh, oh! Oh, that was interesting. That was an equal clash. I don't think one hit the other. They both... Oh, 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 oh! Oh! Oh, it's using some telekinesis! Oh, it's killed the Giga! And what... Wow, it sent the other raptors into a flurry! And it has killed the Giga! Not even a single bit of effort was put up there. So this poses one interesting question. Uh, will the Giga fight the um, the crusher that's just killed its, you know, its mate, its partner, whatever you want to call it? Or will the small xenomorphs interfere? But it does seem like they, they are pretty happy to just let the, the big one sort of choose what happens. Uh, they, they're not dictating anything uh, until it died with the Spinosaur, in which case then, the, you know, the matter was left in their own hands. But look at them. They're all surrounding it. It's almost like they revere it now. Uh, revere its presence. Oh, it's lied down. Has it given a call? Oh! Was that some sort of synaptic link or something? Where they decided, you know what? Yep, you attack it. Although saying that, there's, I think there's only three. Oh, the gig is running away. Oh, oh, the other one's gone up now. Oh, oh, it's gone into... Oh, I think it's just leaving up to the uh, the small xenomorphs to take this on. 
Oh, I don't know. That oh, they're not looking too great. They're also a little bit wounded. Uh, you would have thought that they they would actually want to pack together to take down the Giga. But uh, no, they've decided to stop. I don't think they've taken any fatalities, which is interesting. But there did seem to be all of a sudden a snap in their behavior. And uh, oh god, it's not let yeah, they're not letting that go, are they? <laughs> that one's definitely not letting it go. You don't leave this place alive. Oh, oh, okay. That's interesting. They've sort of loosened up the Giga and oh, straight away taken out. Wow. So maybe it was like, okay, I don't want to take any damage from this one. You sort of soften it up. Ah, come in for the kill. The Giga put up no fight there whatsoever. It was instantly killed by the ginormous Crusher Xenomorph. And finally, before we go, let's just see, newly acquired from Site B, the Buck T-Rex. Ooh, instantly just slowly walking towards... Uh, Wow, I've never seen like battles happen this quick. It's almost instantaneous as soon as the T-Rex drops in. Oh, oh, actually putting up a little bit of a fight here. You've got like a crowd. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Look at them like, yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. oh, it's taken down, I think. Yep, down it goes. Xenomorph kills Rexy. Wow. What would be awesome is actually if while this, you know, the, one of the big ones attacking it, the other ones jumped on and started attacking it as well. That would be awesome, but has definitely been scarred there slightly. But a victory nonetheless. So we're going to leave it there for now until we find some more xenomorphs or, you know, we come up with some more experiments. If there's anything else that you'd like to see these xenomorphs come up against, let me know in the comments down below. But if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.